Hey KCC, Pastor Dave here, and I have a question for you. Should you get baptized this Sunday? This Sunday we are having, as we finish our series on Easter, um, on why Easter, why is it so important, we're having a, series, a, a message that really talks about how we want to pursue the Lord follow, moving forward, that, that the things that we've learned over the past month about God's holiness and our sinfulness and Jesus' sacrifice on our behalf and his conquering sin and death and the grave in order to give us new life, that's all stuff that we want to continue to move forward with. That's stuff that we want to embrace in every way. And so one of the things we're doing this week is we're celebrating baptism with a few people. And I was just thinking, I wonder if there are people out there who wonder if they should get baptized. And so what, how should you know if you, you should get baptized? Well, in Romans chapter 10, uh, Paul writes that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So what does it mean to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord? It means that you're saying, you're publicly proclaiming that Jesus is my master. Jesus is my director. He's my boss. He's the one I'm following. He gets to set my life's goals. And if I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, one of the things I am embracing there is that he, all of the story of Easter is something I believe, that he is my savior. He's paid for my sin, that, that he conquered sin, death, and the grave, the very stuff we just celebrated. And so that really is the kind of person who should get baptized. And why? Because one of the things Jesus said was, in the, the very end of the Gospel of Matthew, we read that he said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to, to obey everything I've commanded. So one of the things Jesus commands us as his church is to baptize people in his name. That basically means that they're indicating a pub, in a public way that they have made this decision to believe in Jesus, that he has given them new life, and their, their intention is to follow him with all areas of life, not just on a Sunday morning life, but all life. And so if you have done that, if you have come to that point where you've made that decision, but you've never been baptized since making that decision, I would encourage you to, to do it. I would encourage you to go forward with it. And, you know, if it's part of your life's goal to walk with him in every way, then, man, let's do it. Let's celebrate together. So if you're interested in that, you need to email me, dave at mykcc.org. That's dave at mykcc.org. And let me know. And I mean, email me quickly because we have to have a phone conversation about this, okay? We'd love to celebrate with you. We'd love your church family to celebrate with you. So please think about it. And if that resonates with where you're at with the Lord, email me, okay? We'll talk to you soon.